The show was to start at 8.30, but according to the Rialto, the cancellation was due to safety concerns and short staffing. Tonight, I spoke with the artist, Mattis Yahoo, about the cancellation and what he was told by management. Can you tell me what you know about the situation? Um, yeah, I know that a sponsor backed out from the Rialto because they were put some pressure on or they have some problem with what, whatever they think that I stand for. Mattis Yahoo's management team quickly found another venue at the Club Rock off Park Avenue, offering the show for free. We reached out to the Rialto asking for clarification on the cancellation and received a statement from Executive Director Kathy Rivers, who said in part, Let me be very clear on this situation. The decision to not have Mattis Yahoo play tonight was not made about politics or religion. The decision was made based on safety. People who came for the concert had their own view of why the show was canceled. It's typically what we would call anti-Semitism. I don't call it anti-Semitism. I know that's the PC word, but it's... It's Jew hatred. It's racism. So do you think that's what's behind the cancellation? I f absolutely. I heard about what happened down over at the Rialto. I wasn't planning on necessarily going to the concert, but after I heard what happened, I decided to come down here and show my support. Mattis Yahoo says before coming to Tucson, his show in New Mexico was also canceled. Earlier in the evening, security told me there were pro-Palestinian protesters at the club. Mattis Yahoo says he has a message for anyone who is against him taking the stage with his music. My message is uh, put down your flags and like, let go of your hatred for a second about something and someone that you truly don't know and come inside to the show and allow the music to penetrate into your soul and into your heart and melt away all of that hate. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.